Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of First Impressions. Today, it's about Dexter's hot sauce. I'm a little bit nervous about this one. I was only expecting sauces one, two, and three, but when I opened up the package from Dexter's, I found sauces four, five, and six. So those sauces are more on the hot to hell side of things. So um, yeah, nervous, but also excited because I know that I want to, you know, take it up a notch, and I think that's definitely going to happen today. I'm going to start off with sauce number one so this is a hickory smoked honey chipotle sauce and this is a mild one so this is dexter here so i think he's a full german shepherd um and yeah he's the the mascot of the company um and uh, dexter's is run by jackson and mark in kilmore victoria so yeah they've you know come out with these amazing sauces um that obviously have incredible flavors like just reading them they sound incredible but um yeah, let's let's see how hot. Oh, that's a lot there. Let's see how hot they are. So this is mild. Here we go. Wow, that's incredible. It's definitely a very smoky sauce. A bit of a kick. Um, for me, it's like a barbecue sauce. Like I would have this with steak and stuff, and it it kind of has that like tomato in there as well. And I think. Yeah, so it's got smoked jalapeno, cayenne, honey, garlic, pepper, cinnamon, salt, tomato, cumin, apple cider vinegar, and red onion. The the flavor, there's so much flavor in that and just like a tiny bit of heat. So yeah, huge fan. I think this would go really well with like wings and stuff. So by the way, I am trying it with a spoon, but I also have Maccas today because everyone's been putting it up on their story. I think it's the whole like Monopoly thing. So yeah, I had to order some today. So, you know what? I'm going to dip my fry in there. Should be okay to do that. Mm. I don't eat no sauces from Macca's. All right, number two. So this is a mild sauce, another mild sauce. This one, I remember seeing it um, from, you know, the chili community. Um, and this was a jalapeno and pineapple one. So pineapple very excited because it's got a bit of you know fruit in there so let's just go with the ingredients again so obviously jalapeno pineapple onion garlic salt capsicum and apple cider vinegar wow i'm excited to give it a taste oh a little bit of chunky bits in there i think that might be the pineapple so wow number two is amazing That's so light and fruity and a little bit tangy and God, I don't even know what I would put this on because it's just freaking epic. I'm going to try it with a chicken nugget. I think this would go really well with fish, but yeah, I'm going to go with a nugget for now. So that is epic. I absolutely love this one. Mm definitely like with fish i think i think it'd go really really well but hey it went really well with the chicken nugget so i'm very happy with sauces one and two they're, they're both very different but so good and they're definitely mild okay let's go number three so this is a medium one i think out of all the sauces i have or i've tried they've all been mild so i think this might actually be my first medium sauce so a little bit nervous but let's do it bird's eye chili garlic red onion brown sugar beetroot water vinegar lime lemon tomato salt okay i'm excited for the beetroot i don't know bird's eye sounds terrifying but this is a pretty cool color as well so okay doesn't smell too bad but yeah sweet and spicy sriracha I think, yeah, I think this is my first medium sauce. So here we go. Wow. Beetroot. Could taste the beetroot straight away. And I absolutely love that. Yeah, this is really, really good. Um, I don't know if it's supposed to come through later, but I'm just not getting much heat yet. I don't want to, I don't want to jinx it because I don't want it to just like come up on me, but I'm going to go in with another one because I absolutely love that. 
yeah, that's really good. It's a sweet and I mean, it is sweet and sour sriracha. So yeah, it's, it's like a, it definitely tastes like just a regular sweet and sour sauce, but obviously this just packs so much flavor because of the, um, the fresh, like the fresh produce in it and stuff. So, and I love that you can taste the beetroot. It's, it's absolutely amazing. I thought I loved number two, but number three, I think number three is like my favorite. Number two is amazing. It really is. But yeah, number three, I was really surprised. Like that's just, that's really good. That one. Absolutely love that one. Okay. Sauce number four. So this is the habanero and mango one. This is a hot sauce. Yeah. This has got mango in it. Love mango. Don't know how I'm going to feel about it with habanero, but um, yeah, the color on this is just gorgeous. So, oh God, it smells really good. Um, I don't know how hot it's going to be, but first sauce that I'm trying with the label hot on it. Here we go. Okay. I think I need a little bit more. Yeah, that's got really good flavor, that one. Um, I can kind of taste it a little bit after, like the, the mango. Um, it definitely has a lot more heat than the last three that I've had. So, but um, yeah, this one's got habanero, mango, onion, garlic, salt, sorry, garlic, salt, um, and apple cider vinegar. So there is a little bit of that mango in there. Um, it's... It's a little bit hot but it's not as bad as I expected it to be let's just put that on some oh here comes the runny nose it is hot but it's actually really good because like what a mix like habanero and mango it's yeah it's awesome I would love to put this on some grilled prawns or something I think that'll go really well but yeah it's it's definitely Oh, I could feel it in the back of my throat a little bit, but it's okay. It's bearable. Okay, let's go with sauce number five. So this one is a Szechuan and Butjolokia. I don't know how to pronounce it properly, so please let me know if I uh, fucked it up, which I most likely did. But I believe it's the ghost chili. I think that's another name for it. So it's got that salt, garlic, soybean, sugar, cornstarch, water, sesame seed oil, garlic, ginger, yeast extract from barley and wheat, white vinegar, Szechuan, onion, glucose, apple cider vinegar. I don't know. Here we go. Oh my God. I love, I love that one. I love the flavor of that one. It's got like this nutty taste to it. Um, wow. I think I should give myself a bit of a break before I go in for the second one, but the flavor in this is just incredible. Yeah, I really like that. I can feel the heat in the back a little bit, but it's it's really, really good. It's got such a unique flavor, and I think that's why I'm like crazy about it. This just keeps getting better and better. Here I am thinking like number two is just amazing. Then I try number three and I'm like, no, 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 that's like incredible. Now, this one's my favorite by far. I love number five. That's so good. Wow. I think, Brie, did you say that you liked sauce number five? Because fuck, we've got good taste. I think five is absolutely epic. Okay, this is sauce number six, right? So this has got Carolina Reaper and Capsicum. Carola, Carolina Reaper, I believe is um, the hottest chili in the world. So, hell. Not mild, not medium, not hot, not extra hot, hell. So this is the one that I'm really nervous about, but also very excited because I think if I can handle this, then I can handle anything. So I just wanna get ready for this one. Just clear out my palate. I'm not burning at all from anything. Um, it's It's quite, they're quite good. I can handle it. I don't know about this one though, but we'll, we'll see. Oh. Oh. Fuck. Yeah. Smells like Satan's asshole, but 
I mean, not that I know what Satan's asshole smells like. If if it did have a smell, it would probably smell like this. So, okay. I'm just gonna clean up the spoon a little bit. Let's get a nice clean spoon for this one. Oh God, and it's thick as well. Jesus, take the wheel. The most I put on my spoon and it was the number six. Okay. Cheers. Straight to the back of the throat. Yep. Can definitely feel it in the back. Very strong, definitely the strongest. Whew. I'm just gonna see how it goes. Oh. Not. Look at my eyes. Okay. I wasn't prepared for that one at all. That is hot. Can't even talk. Okay, I just needed a minute to, excuse me, to get over that. Um, I'm just eating like a plain old cheeseburger at the moment. Look at my eyes. For me, that was really hot. I couldn't even talk. That was deadly. Um, I couldn't really focus on any flavor because the heat in the back of my throat just, that was insane, like absolutely insane. However, I'm very proud of myself for trying one of the hottest sauces that I've ever tried in my whole entire life. It's slowly creeping back up again. <laughs> Yeah, look, I'm probably never going to touch that sauce again. Um, well, not now at least, like maybe later down the track when I'm feeling a little bit, you know, I might. But that was just so hot, like absolutely burnt the shit out of the back of my throat. Overall, seriously, look at my nose. Overall, the sauces are as I expected them to be, full of flavor. Um, as I said before, like... I thought number two was my favorite and then I went and had number three and then I went and had number five. So I'm not going to pick one. I'm going to pick three, two, three, and five are by far my favorite. Um, they just had this unique flavor about them. Um, they weren't too packed with heat, which was good. Um, even number five, like it, it's a hot sauce, but I didn't, I don't know, maybe I needed to take more of it, but I just, I got flavor more than anything, um, in that one so didn't really get the heat i don't hate any of them <laughs> i mean i know this one almost like this was just so so hot i don't hate it i think it's absolutely brilliant and i think those people who can handle their chili would absolutely love this so yeah dexters thank you for sending your sauces and like it's just so exciting it's a completely new game for me the whole chili game the whole hot sauce thing and um it was just great that i was able to start from really mild to the hottest one that you have all in one session and your sauces are amazing and for those who really want to give it a try don't even think about it just get it you can get all six of them you can get like the more mild pack you can go for the really hot one Whatever you do, just make sure you have sources two, three, and five in there because I just cannot recommend those enough. They're absolutely amazing. Guys, not sure what's next on first impressions. I can't really think right now. Um, that heat's definitely gone, but yeah, my stomach's just starting to feel a little bit funny. Uh, worth it though. Ciao.